Hello my friends, here is Viorel and in today's lesson we will learn how to do an approximate match in Power BI. The scenario is like this, in this transaction table we have the quantity sold and we want to get here the unit price from this price table. However, you see that we do not have an exact match. What we have is a threshold okay from one quantity to 1000 the price is 50 from 1000 to 5000 is 40 and so on the bigger the quantity the less the price so we will have to match with an interval and not an exact match we will solve this problem in power query inside power bi but we could also use it in power query directly here in excel we will load the tables in Power BI, so we have them here. And the first thing that we need to do in order to have a lookup key, the quantity column needs to be named the same. So we will edit each of them, go to edit, and the quantity will be named quantity here instead of quantity sold. Okay, so quantity, close and apply. The same for the transactions table, we rename it just quantity. And now we will join the two tables. First we will reference this table. We go to queries and say reference. Okay, and now we will just append to this transaction table the price table. Okay, so we go to append queries to tables, table to append, price table. And now you see that in the first part of the table we have the transaction table with the unit price null, and in the second part we have the price table with the transaction ID null. And now the trick is to sort the quantity in ascending order. And then the transaction ID also in ascending order. However, it is not changing because we do not have uh, duplicate quantity in order for the transaction to be uh, reordering at least in this example so now you see we have the first row is with the price and then we have the transactions then we have another row with the price and then the transactions that are ordered in uh, quantity now what we do we just fill down the unit price okay fill down and now we have the price for all the quantities we remove the null from transactions and now we got our result so you see we have the two quantities 67 and 811 we, we have it at 50 price then 3.6 and 6.5 thousand okay 3.6 is less than 5000 is 40 then 6.5 is between 5000 and 10000 is 30 and 11000 and 14000 are between 10 and 15,000 and are 20. So now we have our result. Now we go to just close and apply. So now we have here our table. And uh, you can now start to calculate, for example, revenue and so on. One last thing that I want to show you in this lesson is that we can get this result with VELOOKUP, with approximate value. So we have 
VLOOKUP quantity and here is the price table the second column and then we choose true approximate match instead of false which is a exact match okay and now we see that we have the same result but why should we use power query because VLOOKUP has uh, at least three main drawbacks the first one is that you can search only in the right the second one is that you you can uh, you cannot search based on two columns for example uh, the lookup uh, columns can be just one while in power query you can choose two columns to to search and the third drawback is that uh, the lookup only uh, get you the first result if you have multiple result from your query it just show you the first one so with power query we have all these drawbacks solved I hope you found this video interesting please like and subscribe thank you